I played 100 games of 1v1, and here's what happened. Hold up. Fuck. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was actually a good portion of what the games went like. But by and large, you'll see this video was a big success. Today, I'm bringing you a video inspired by a series I've seen run from a YouTuber named Luke the Notable, where I show you what 100 games of almost exclusively playing 1v1 looked like for me and what I learned doing so. If you like to show your support, the best way is to get involved with my coaching program because that's what I do to pay my editors and make a living on the channel. So if you're 18 plus years old and interested in fast tracking your learning so that you don't have to play 100 games like I did, you can DM me the keyword 1v1 on Discord for more info, and I'm happy to talk about how I might be able to coach you. Enjoy the video, guys. Alright, so game one may have gotten out to a little bit of a rough start with that lag spike, but we bounced back and I really think the start of the series was kind of getting used to what I know. You'll see here I go for a quick flick, I do a quick back flick, here I don't make a save because I'm rotating back post instead of front post, and a lot of the start of my gameplay here with a low 50 was just learning how to actually play 1v1. You'll see a ton of my goals come from like 2v2 and 3v3 play. I get an early challenge there that leads to a goal. Next up, I get a quick little flick that leads to a goal. And really, the thing that was hardest for me with game one was just getting used to 1v1 style. And of course, the lag that I was convinced was happening that when I watched this back, uh, I really don't think is there. So first, it was just learning how to be patient and learning how to play 1v1. You'll see I just, I'm, I'm constantly trying to air roll shot and, and get these like weird angles because I'm a 3v3 player and I don't know what I'm doing. And it works at the start, but put a pin in this because when we get back later, you'll see uh, how my play kind of translate. Luckily, we get a nice, we get a nice forfeit from XX Super Fortnite Pro Gamer 620. Freebie, freebie, freebie. Uh, what, what would you expect? And we're off to a good start. I remember game two, game one, somehow we squeezed out some wins. Uh, but game three, it starts to pick up here with a guy who has an SSL decal. This was at the start of the season. Uh, he's going to flick the ball behind me, and I was, I was not too happy about that one. I'm so lucky just getting blue scrap. <laughs> he's going to quick flick over me, then I started to play on tilt. And really, I was, I, I was a little bit of a stallion at, 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 the, at the start of this series. Game four. I get a nice chip around, I'm going to dish the ball and go for another air roll shot. I really didn't know how to score goals other than bringing the ball to the center and going for air roll shots, so that's what we're doing and it's working. <laughs> it's working so far. Right now they're sitting at GC1, just quick cuts, quick shots. Against players who don't really know how to play 1v1, this kind of works. But if we finish game 4, end of day 1, and I think we place into GC1 Div 2. Keep, keep, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. GC1 Div 2 is where we start. Get a nice backflip flick. And here I'm playing against my friend. This guy is C2. I said, hey, I got to play you at the start of the series. So decided to run some games against him. Um, and really, looking back on this, this was not productive at all. I just did what I knew best and go for went for a ton of aerial plays. But this happened. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> went for a lot of plays here and something i noticed is that like playing against my friend here like i i, I love playing against brody he, he hasn't been playing rocket league as much as of late but something i found was that when you play against lower ranked players everything you do works like i made so many bad plays in this 1v1 but it all works and you're gonna see later in the series i started forcing myself to play against better players that really punished me when i messed up and that's when you'll see me get much better but for now you can enjoy me flexing on an actual c2 no i dunked you you're gonna score on me it's a free goal because i can't recover oh jesus oh you have to double tap it though okay like idea cut oh wow what a fake that no, was very sir. well played that was not a fake i i that was not a fake at all <laughs> i just messed up <laughs> You really guessed, you guessed what side I would spawn on too? <laughs> no, I was just moving through, just moseying on through. I messed up my recovery yet. But game nine, we got back into the swing of things with some comp games and I was feeling good at the start of the series. Like we get a nice kickoff goal, come around, get a nice shot on net, we're kind of rolling, it's 2-0. 
And then all of a sudden, I forget how to use brain, and I start tilting. Oh my god. Just don't flip. Just don't flip. F flank around, get a nice save. Unfortunately, don't know how to control my speed. Wait, what? And here's where I started to realize some of my flaws. I don't know how to shadow defend. And then this guy started what a save me. Nice what a save, by the way. Nice LOL. This is the one thing about 1v1, though. You gotta love it. Beating players who flame you at the start of the game. Not, there's no feeling like it. No feeling like it. Game 10. We played against the Don. And I think I got kick off gold like three times to start out. Delaney, thank you for editing those out. And I, I appreciate it. I, I really, really, really do. I was in my feelings. Those guys tear me up on kickoffs. Yeah, I was in my feelings. I was in my feelings this game. Go for a nice chip and shoot. And here you'll see, this is where... I remember game 10 is where... Oh. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, <laughs> I lost that one. We're just gonna say I lost that one. Next game, I get placed into game 11 against somebody that I actually think is a Pulse member who, for some reason, is not playing with his normal tag. This guy just absolutely dumpstered on me. And this is where reality started to set in. I don't know how I get this save. That was pretty cool. But, uh. Yeah, this guy is uh, just a little bit better than me. So this was a little bit of a reality check. Goodbye. Forfeit. Game 12, we're going to start to try to fight back. But I remember ooh, this was this was a rough day. I was playing about four or five games a day. We were on day four here. And uh, I, was, I was just getting beat by players that had more patience with me. I early challenge. He challenges. I don't know how to catch the ball. He, he, he beats me. It's like the 1v1 play. I started to get exposed here. Playing in the corners. I didn't know how to play in the corner. I panicked. I challenged early. Another free goal. And that one, we go down 8-3. Game 13, I get a lucky kickoff goal to start it off. Good. And then uh, and then I then I do that. So you um, can imagine what happens afterwards. Uh, then we get to this point, And I forget that I have no defenders behind me. And I early challenge. That's, that's good. This one... Um, I don't really know what I was doing, and here you will start to see my, uh, sort of descent into 1v1 induced depression. I really, really did try to fight my way back, but we drop another game 9-5. Game 10 through 13, it was, a, it was a little rough. It was a little rough. We come back for game 14 on a different day. This is day four of recording, and not off to a great start. Getting demoed. Really, like, my... Uh, I just, I just don't, I have bad player awareness, but this guy says 24 hours and you're still champ, so. Karma. And he's just tilting and just bumping me. Get a nice, get a nice goal. Thought I missed that. Nice. And there goes, boop, left the match. You might be asking, Luke, Luke, in between all your 1v1 matches, why do I see you practicing flip reset musties when you're getting scored on because you're messing up your flicks and you're missing opens? And that's a great question. <laughs> game 15 i started to realize that to win 1v1 and to stop deranking i need to learn how to actually play 1v1 huh and you'll see me huh? i think at the end of game 15 i was sitting gc1 i get a nice cut around get a goal a lot of that's how i'm getting a lot of my goals and hey this guy this guy recognized me game 16 i got recognized one in 16 that's not bad one in 16 players recognize me i'll take it this was the first time. And then game 17, another player recognized me. He said, real. I said, pog. Here we pop the ball over him and get a totally lucky demo. But he probably thought I was pretty good. Then we get a nice chip up. That flip cancel looked pretty. It went in the net. That's cool. And now we're up 7-0. And he's too nervous to play. But he put up six goals on me. And I almost lost this one. Wow. How did I, how to throw a 7-0 lead? <laughs> we win 9-6. <laughs> Game 18. B season. I know this guy. I've, I've been playing a bunch of GC 2v2 lobbies against him. I was really excited to play him, but then he just... Yeah, that that do it do really happen. It do really be like that sometimes. <laughs> so I got a good start against B season. I tried to power side cut and be King Ranny, but uh, get a weak shot and it goes in. 
and all of a sudden B season puts up like four yeah. kickoff goals on me. I remember this. I don't know why I keep losing every kickoff. And that's when I knew I needed to learn how to play 1v1. But then he threw. And he said, I swear I'm free, Elo. We're all feeling slow, but we're back at GC1. Once I got back to GC1, I reached out to Striped and Wait and Pilkin. Because after having some experience playing 1v1, I wanted to see what it was like against some uh, some, some creators who don't play 1v1. And see if my 1v1 brain was starting to grow. And long story short, uh, 18 games is not enough to, to master 1v1, sadly. Get bumped. Oh, you see that. <laughs> Bang. No way. Yep. Easy peasy. I've never, like, spent a season and been like, oh, how high can I get in, in once? Or I, I need to improve in once. Oh, that was nice. Right. Get a nice shot around because Stripe doesn't what know how to that? play ones. Omega lol. Take those. Get a nice flick over. That was pretty lucky. I should, he probably should have dunked me there. Once again, don't know how to shadow Same. defend. Very nice. Classic. Get a nice early flick. Nice. I thought you wouldn't expect any challenges. And I that. think we get another. We get two kickoff goals against oh, Stripe. So. Oh, oh, very come clutch on. kickoff. I'm not like very this. clutch. Very clutch. I hate kickoffs. Oh, yeah, I'm like that one. So at least my kickoffs were kickoffs. starting to improve. But then my games against Waiten. I was scared against these games, and you'll see. Kind of Anybody ever yes. seen Waiten's adapt Luck. video? Luck is on my side. Oh, nice. I say that because exactly. I can be on I can be on your offensive half and still get scored on. You know, um, I, I don't think I've played enough. Nice shot. Let's go. Right. Uh, <laughs> Pretty flip. I, I don't think I've played enough. Scouting. You get off to a hot start against Wait and get a little bit of a lead. I start I start I start oh, feeling nice. confident going for some stuff. We close out the first game pretty far ahead, but. We're gonna get into game two against Waiten, and oh, you'll see the there so it is. I'm so <laughs> yeah. mad at myself. I mean, it's mixing it up. <laughs> No, don't recover. No! Oh my god. Started bopping me around. We're vibing. <laughs> We're vibing. Part two? Oh no. He kinda he kinda exposed me. I appreciate I you editing all up. four goals out of that Delaney. That's that's uh, cool. It, if I didn't say it was 8-1, would you even have noticed? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I get a couple clips at the very end, so at least reclaim my dignity. Getting really, really good. Yeah, yeah. And, and this air dribble is actually pretty good. Everybody clean. it seems like is getting so cracked but moral of the story is after these games against waiting uh yeah it was clear to me my 1v1 play was uh it, it it was crackable it was not it was it was not sound so what did i do go get coaching go reach out for higher level feedback uh no i went and played against some diamond twos in my coaching program to boost my ego wait we're doing two v oh you put wait, bots on oh uh, who had the bots Look at the boss. Oh, oh shit. Oh my god. No, 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 no. no, I'm so sorry. My boss is better though. Oh my god. Oh. My boss is just better. Oh my god. No. 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 Too much respect. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna get a sub 16 minute? Am I gonna get a sub 16 minute? Ah. Ooh. Awesome. Yeah. All I'm all I'm saying is I I hit a 16 flat and ring. All right. How did I not get the oh. reset there? Whoa. Bro, it's all good though because I got some good seven. practice playing <laughs> passive. Seeing ah. I tried to get the most out of it by pushing myself and going for mechanics I normally wouldn't go for. I hit this. Oh, it was a good time. Ooh. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you guys in chat like that. Did like I say that anything one. to YouTube? Bruh. Join GCR. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Here we jump. We jump into a game against one of my season one players who had been playing a lot of one v one and who wanted to challenge me. Grab half boost. Be right back. Hey, I scored a three. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Out of my watch, sir. No, sir. You could be Arsenal for all I care. Oh no. Man. Get a nice air roll goal. My air roll left was feeling good because uh, I was I was practicing well, basically exclusively air roll. And uh, for the first yeah, yeah 24 Yay! games, 25 games, I didn't I, I I didn't really want to come to terms with my weaknesses. So I was mostly just doing what I knew. Uh, but as you could see, bruh, what was that? Uh, I basically was getting I'm 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 getting bruh. scored on the same ways every time. <laughs> Game 25. Basically going for bounce dribbles, going for shots, but 
It's clear that I, I, I can't, I still can't shadow defend. Got a demo on Swoosh Man though. And still going for cross map air dribbles while I'm down 4-0. And then I think getting scored on here probably. Yeah, that one hurt. Game 26 was uh, just, uh, just rough. Just rough. I think game 20, yeah. I didn't. You're really not pulling any punches here. I hope there are no more clips in day six. Oh no. What, what's this clip? Forfeit. Ah, thank you, Delaney. Game 27, I get an early challenge win. A little pop and a bop. A little pop and bop. Have I heard that somewhere? Or am I just that original? Get an early challenge over one off the corner. And look at this. I caught the ball. The 1v1 play. I'm starting to I'm starting to grow up. I'm starting to age. I was proud of myself for that. I was proud of myself for the catch. Not the early challenge. That's just me being a monkey still. But and I'm still going for aerial play. But it works. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Don't do it. Don't don't try this at home, kids. I streamed to nobody and it's still fun. Go watch GeForce, everyone. Come on, how wholesome is that? I streamed to nobody, but it's still fun. So wholesome. So wholesome. Game 27. I think I get GeForce again, so we get a rematch Let's go. here. And Let's go. he actually knows my videos as well. Game 28. I try to incorporate some new principles of controlling the ball a little bit more, but uh You know, growing pains, growing pains. Get a little bit of a lag spike. Uh that happens. Nice. Try for an early flick. Somehow get rewarded for that. So I'm <laughs> the problem. <laughs> I'm not being conditioned to do the wrong thing. Oh. Seems about right. I'm going to try again for an early challenge. Get beat. Woof. We got to make some progress because we're moving slow here. It's time to pick up some 1v1 games today. You know what? It's an experiment. This this whole video is an experiment of, of, of testing many different things. Today, we're going to test playing like hella games and see if my performance actually decreases over time or what happens. Let's do it. I got tilted by the end of that day. Only played one 2v2 game and then quit. Game 32, I get on the next day, and I'm feeling refreshed. I accidentally backflip into that ball, and it creates a goal. A little change up. Not bad. Get a low 50. Huh? Huh? I'm reformed. I'm reformed, Ranny. You watching right now? You like that? Get a little bit of a low 50. I start to shadow him. Instead of challenging early, I, t I turn back. I get a save. I play patient. I wait for him to show his weakness. And then I get a good challenge. Huh? Almost missed the open still, but small victories. I think I win game 32. Game 33, look at the aerial control. Doesn't really create a goal, but somehow I get that boost. Feels good. Missed one shot. All right, no problem. We'll come back. Easy finish. All right, no problem. We're 0 0 with three minutes left against Childish Gambino. Look at this defense. Oh my gosh, he's shadowing. He's going to cut it back. He's going to flick it over. Oh, Khaled. Lord. Come on. I was, I was, I was proud of myself. This game, oh, game 33, sorry. it was a turning point for me. <laughs> Something about game 33. I started to. I started to play 1v1 like a 1v1 player. You'll see bounce dribbles. I'm starting to score with open space. Create power quickly. Soft touch, start, soft touch, hard touch. Come on. Recoveries. Speed flipping. Under the ball, unfortunately. Once again, small victories. We're improving. No, don't monkey this, Luke. Don't do it. Oh, no. Uh. All right, rip that game. <laughs> Game 35. I'm experimenting. Growing pains. I was learning the principles. You'll see a low 50 there. Okay. I'm learning how to play 1v1 better. 
Yep. Ranny told me, King Ranny told me, you want to look for three low 50s a game. He said, on average, there are always three low 50s that you can pick up a game that are going to create goals. And this is another thing I learned from King Ranny. Other 1v1 principles. The turn into shadow, fade into their blind spot, and then backflip challenge. That was really good. Then I used my mechanics a little bit. So it's a balance. I, I think at this point, I was feeling good with my mechanics, but I was still playing 1v1 like a little bit of a maniac. I needed to be more patient. And on day 12 of recording, this was probably like, in terms of real-time days, this was probably like 20-some days in, certified lover boy drops. I'm going to be playing some 1v1, jamming to certified lover boy, and I have a feeling, I don't know if it's that I'm severely underranked or that, you know, Drake just came out, but we're going we're gonna to have a good day today, and I'm manifesting it. A little bit of patience, nice cuts. Game 38, we start out with the lead. Unfortunately, get put behind, but I remain composed. Bang. Bang. Come on. We're back. I'm a one player, baby. Come back. It's a good day. It's a good day. Formidable. We're going all the way back up to GC. We win at 5-4, but if you'll notice there, I believe I was at champ. I was at C3 Div 1. Game, game 38, I was at rock bottom. C3 Div 1. Remember this, lads. It was it, it was it was the climb from here, and that's going to result in a win. Game forty. Once again, patience. I start down. I start I start losing, but Spooky throws. Give Spook <clears throat> Luke a goal. Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Uh, I remember I this guy. It. You know what? I'm just going to stop narrating. This is too good. <laughs> It's tie game, it's a tie game, ah! Spooky misses an open <laughs> in overtime, then tries to demo me on the wall. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> I tilted him. I won because he was tilted! Ah! Feels good. Game 41, this guy goes to the back corner and doesn't think I can doomsy? No respect at all. Huh? Oh. And he just leaves 20 seconds in, so that's cool. I get a demo, speed flip into it. Bonk! How do you like it? We're up 5-4. Unfortunately, ties it up at the last second. I was feeling hot today. Early challenge. Check this out. No looker. That was a no looker. That was a no looker. Ah, zero second no looker. Oh my Lord. Game 43. This is still all the same day, by the way. Still all day 12, okay? Well, pop and drop. Mm -hmm. I really thought it was funny. Rick from corporate. Bald. <laughs> oh, let's see. The land in the net. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> Rick from corporate is not happy about that one. And to finish it off, just to show you that I was feeling myself today. Come on. Pulse, you watching? Game 44, we're still on the same day. I thought that was over my net for some reason. It's all right, I still don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm playing patient today, waiting for my opportunity, get the open, score it. And just like that, six games, six wins, GC1, Div 1, we're back. Game 45, we're on day 13. <laughs> I'd play my 2v2 teammate in some private games before hopping into rank to see how I'm progressing. And it goes pretty well. We're the same rank in 2v2, but my 1v1 play, about halfway through the challenge, is starting to improve. I'm adapting a little better, and we both know each other's play styles, but all in all, I'm learning how to, how to play 1v1. Properly defend, have patience, score opens, Yes! And I think we hopped into some 2v2 games and I was just like... I was just on it. I was just on it. <laughs> it was so late for me. Check this out. Reset. Bang. Freestyle coaching program coming soon. Land. Once again. The awareness. The 1v1 awareness. Alright, we're getting back into some comp games today. Situation is... 
I'm listening to Certified Lover Boy right now, but I can't listen to it in my headphones, so I have to play without in-game audio today. I wonder if playing without in-game audio is going to be a help or, or what. Game 47, we're on day something, probably about a month through. And we're nice. starting to pick it up. Good start. We're starting to pick it up. Control, dribbling on an angle. Notice that I'm dribbling towards the right while he defends on the left so I can see him the whole time. Unfortunately, my awareness is not quite there yet. Bruh. We're going to get scored on. Game 48. This guy challenges early, so I just need to uh, low 50. But I started to use my head. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. A concept. Using your head in one view on. A concept. This guy's an SSL, so... I started to adapt to him, went for an early Shonda's pop when I couldn't see him. <laughs> Just pop early. <laughs> Not bad. Early challenge, mix it up. He's going to go back to net. Bang! We're going to win that game. Game 49. Ball bounces off the back wall. Very nice bounce for me. I was convinced I was going to miss that open, but I didn't. <clears throat> good patience, good patience. <laughs> I'm sweating today. <laughs> Game 49, I'm shadow defending, I'm patient. I wait for him to cough up the ball. Put a nice shot on net. He gets a good save. Maintain composure. Don't miss, Luke. Bruh. Oh. It works out. It works out. Gonna get a nice catch. Ooh. That was dirty. Close one. Almost miss it, though. Gonna get a nice catch. Pop it up. Nice. Yeah. Just the small play is getting much, much better. You see me winning a challenge in the corner. What? Is this the same guy? Game 50. Come on. We're feeling hot. What the fuck? Yeah, you know what? It is the same guy. An early challenge. Gets me scored on. Unfortunate. Nice strong shot on net. Learning to control my air roll tendencies. And we're at GC1 Div 2 on game 52. So from the start, we have ranked up one division, but I'm feeling so much better. I learned how to have patience in near ball situations. Game 52, we start with a low 50. Don't know what happened that game, but we're in game 53 Finally, already. Nice. Oh, going to get a get a get a good save defensively. Yeah, it's definitely a good player. I remember thinking this guy was really, really annoying good. what he's doing. Get a nice touch. Almost missed the open, but thank you for oh, There we go. Snuck that one in. Uh, I was going to ask him if he was normally a GC1 because that guy was really freaking good for a first game. We end up winning, but we're still kind of setting GC1 Div 1. Game 54, bait out a bait out an early challenge, get a goal. Start winning kickoffs? This doesn't even feel right. I think the key for me was just learning how to save my jump on kickoffs. Like Before, I would always flip first and roll off the ball. But then, as we get through the series, I slowly start to hold my second flip longer. Stay more central to the ball. Nice. Game 55. I played this guy in 1v1. This Pain Day Apiece guy, he's an SSL 2v2 player. He's like 1,800 in 2v2. And I played him when I was queuing with King Ranny for a video. Get a good air dribble bump. Patience on the goal line. And I actually beat an 1,800 oh. rated 2v2 player. Oh, he choked. He choked. He choked. <laughs> oh my gosh, he choked. <laughs> Biggest clench, butt clench moment of my life. He choked on the open at the very last minute. GC1 Div 2 once again. Ball's going to come center. I'll get an open. There you go. Game 57. Media offline. Game 57. Seems about seems about right. Game 58. Uh, decided clear, to though. play against Ranny. I decided I needed a challenge if I was going to break my GC1 Div 2 area. So Ranny, top 101v1 player, put me through the ringer. I read these every day of the week. Oh no, Ooh. I was so close. Dang, watch that. Two touch training. Oh, oh. oh my lord. Oh. Oh. You're fast as fuck. I, I flipped into it. Four lag. Oh my gosh, look at this guy's kickoff. So Greater cloud is just messing me up. You gotta respect this guy's the initiative on this one. Oh, so <laughs> and that was just and that's just get mauled by yes, Luke. And that's just, I mean, I had a pop. When you're a trained menace, oh, 
That was a little too predictable against Randy, but you're so you're such a little a quick little little rascal. <laughs> I forgot that move. Yeah. I was happy to put up some goals. Oh, and oh. then this happened. No. No. I speak so hard. Nonsensory. Oh, I got the boost though. Close out the second game. Four three loss. Not bad. Oh wait. Never mind. It's six three. Oh, my Lord. oh but there's a lag symbol. We'll call four three. Yeah. Please. <laughs> no, I didn't no. listen. <laughs> All right, game 59. I just teleported in time through the voiceover. And if you thought this video was getting long, imagine actually having to play these games. Imagine actually <laughs> imagine having to play 100 games of 1v1 that you need to do two recordings of voiceover. Yeah, we're going to we're going to accelerate through game 60 through 80 because this is the middle of the story that nobody cares about. Really, I was the, I, I was going through the motions at this point. I'd go one game up, one game down. I had the flicks. Get some quick beats. I was going I was going up and play. I was getting better with the mechanics, a little bit more comfortable. As, as I'm sure you're watching right now and you're feeling a little like feeling a little mindless, feeling like where is this going, Luke? What's going to happen at the end of the series? Just wait. Just wait. That's kind of how I was feeling though too while I was playing these games. I get a nice save and then disaster. No way. How did he get up in you time? You could hear the sadness in my voice. So we're sitting GC1 Div 2 and I feel like I haven't made any progress and we're 60 games in, right? But I start to incorporate some new dribbling strategies and you'll start to see my play change a little bit here. I'm paying much more attention to who is challenging me and not what I'm doing with the ball. You'll notice. Watch how I dribble here in these cases. I'm basically just choosing when I challenge based off of how I see the opponent positioning. And it was a big help. That's such a bad first shot. He thought he had something. <laughs> You'll see I start to dribble more on an angle. So I'm rarely dribbling directly towards nice. the center of the net. Bar that play right there. And you'll see slowly I start to get more comfortable on defense. I start, I'm scoring these counterattacks. I'm not just winning early challenges. It's not desperate play. It's a little more calculated. Notice, see, like I'm dribbling on an angle, which allows me to see the opponent on the left side of the ball the entire time. I'm waiting on my net, being patient. What? Didn't like that one. But you see, look, look at this dribbling. See this? I'm slowly starting to figure out how to actually play 1v1. See, when they're back, I wait. When they're when they're challenging early, I flick early. And we're starting to get some wins. It's definitely not an easy process. Wait, wait what? I face through his car. Sometimes it'd be like that. You guys just try to force everything. Every challenge. It's just idiotic. <laughs> Knowing when I have space, jumping up early, scoring the goals I should score, and that lags again. Learning how to paint the corners, not paint the crossbar. Yes, out of reach. Let's go. Yeah, my voice over here explains it pretty well. What? See what I mean when I say let's fast forward through game 64 through 65? I was struggling a little bit. See, I actually get a low 50 there. A little stutter, but... Oh yeah, <laughs> that one felt good. <laughs> Dribbling on an angle to the left, I see him on the right side the whole time, I can just flick right back over him. Still getting demoed a ton. I was driving side by side. And then, don't do it Luke. Oh, and there goes the ball. I, I, I just can't deal with this lag. I, I, I can't. <laughs> it's just so weird. Listen to my voice. Yeah, you, you, you can hear it. <laughs> you can hear it. Oh, good demo. Game 67, I was like, okay, I got to reset. If I'm going to make it through 100 games. Oh, I almost got there. I went and played play this guy in my coaching program who, who I know has some energy. He gave me a little bit of a pick-me-up. You could just listen to him. Darn it. <laughs> just, just, just enjoy his commentary here. I just had a training session with Avatar. No! Dang it! That was so close. Now we get serious. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I'm just letting them get one before I turn on the jets, you know? He didn't turn on the jets. <laughs> he didn't turn on the jets. That was what I needed, though. I needed those two games because game 69 is the turnaround game. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Winston? 
the M69 turnaround game. That's what I'm talking about. 3-0. We clear game 69 with the win. Get an early flick. We're off to a lead in game 70. It is tied up. Boom. Kickoff goal incoming. Game 70's going well. And we're cruising. Dribbling through the center. And now I'm starting to finally get a sense of... Okay, how do you deal with players? And immediately when they fade out of my vision, you'll notice I instantly go for these ground to air dribbles. Um, and I end up closing out game 70 with another win. If I see them challenging, I'm going for early flicks. I'm rarely cuts, going for early flicks, low 50s. You see this? I'm starting to finally get a hold of how to dribble based on what they have. I have like three or four moves that you're going to see me go for a lot. I go to, I either go for the low 50, like the side flick at the last second, or something along the lines. And also, you see the counterattack goal. So I'm starting to get a better sense. Like by game 70, I kind of had this intuitive feeling of where my net is like when I'm shadowing, and it gave me a lot more space and a lot more time to play defense, and you'll see a lot of counterattack goals here. Here, we're going to tie it up, I think, maybe? 5-6? Uh, no, we're going to lose that one. That's all right. Game 72, we go down. But we're on an upward trend. You see that? You see Div 4 on the right side of the screen? Get a low 50. Game 73, we're out to a lead. Once again, dribbling on an angle, waiting to see him in my peripheral vision. Flick. Huh? Once again, Danny fades out of my vision, so what do I do? Instant pop up. If I ever find myself dribbling straight in the line, which happens, the second he fades out of my vision, I don't want to get dunked, so boom, I take it to the air. Once again, you see me just insta pop. And I'm starting to play off of these principles, and I'm slowly starting to get things back. Game 74, of course, I, I'm, I'm kind of getting it done too, but... I feel like I'm trending upward. And you see, like, a lot of the people I'm playing are very, very good players. Uh oh well, he had an SSL tag, I promise. Promise this guy's SSL. <laughs> Playing some goal line defense? Huh? Huh? Starting to get there. Learning how to transition the ball quickly upfield, not having to wait for, like, my perfect bounce. Just generating power. And look at that. GC1, Div 4. We are technically above the, the rank I should have been, but... Game 76, get a good shot. Once again, dribbling on an angle, waiting, 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 waiting. Bang, flick over him. You see that? Learning when to challenge, when not to. Game 76, we're up 7-5. Wait till I fade into his vision, and if I don't see him insta-flick, that means I'm now out of his vision. So, like, I know what it's like to be in that scenario, and when he doesn't go for an insta-pop, I know he can't see me. So I'm going to do a back backflip challenge. So slowly getting a better sense of, of all those things. Even though we're going down in this game, I'm having a lot of competitive games. Going one up, one down. Once again, take it off to the side, take it off to the side. Once I see him challenge, boom, go for the shot. Goal line defense. We all been there. That's all happened to us. And then, these last, these last 20 games, now you made it to the fun part of the video. I finally start to get a hold. Backflip challenge into goal. I really start to figure out how to how to beat players. I start to use my actual mechanics from other game modes. We're going to get a win. Game 79. 6-5. Dribbling on an angle. Pop it up. Can't save that. Try to play it back to my corner. Unfortunately, he gets possession. But the principle of trying to maintain possession there was good. said I was struggling right now look at look at the defense come on look at these near goal line saves that I'm eventually going to convert into goals and see now I start to feel it I'm in game 80 I'm like look we're, we made it 80 games time to start playing confident I go up for a little bit more aerial mechanics start to actually use my kit look at this I'm like okay I know how to play the ground now when I have the chance to play the air I'm going to do it patience on the goal line Unfortunately, it gets a nice beat. But honestly, through most ranks, if you just let people do their, do their thing, you're going to be fine. Once again, using the aerial mechanics. Ah! Huh? Come on! Pretty terrible, Musty, but it's going to work. I still can't help but get downloaded, but look at this. Okay, we're down 8-2. Pay attention to the name. Deseski. I end up putting a couple goals back on. And... That guy, might, he, might, he might come back again. Go for an early flick. A 
then that happens. <laughs> the one thing, by game 83, I was like, I wasn't even phased. Normally, I'm crying about those things at the start of the series. But at this point, well, I'm, you know, I'm not even, not even saying nothing. Not even saying nothing. I also lost the audio for these tracks, sadly. Because, uh... I'm washed and I don't know how to record stuff. But once again, you see you see me flopping, I'm just like this this is this is part of it. This is this is just it. Forfeit match, don't worry. On to the next one. Game 85. It's it's mental toughness. I was I I have I have a theory. It's does playing 1v1 make you better? Or is the kind of person who can make it through hundred games of 1v1 just bound to be bound to be better eventually? I don't know, chicken or the egg. But you're definitely gonna see an egg here. Boop, pooped on him. Dropped it right on him. Low 50, Deseski. Hey, game 86. We're back four or five games later against this same guy, and look at the score now. I'm like, you know what? You're not better than me. Stop it. Give me that. Overtime. Ball up the wall. I hit these. Bang. Come on. Improvement. Off the wall again. Bang. Not saving that. Finally start to use my mechanics. Once again, no looker. Bang. Not saving that. So you'll see the quality of goal goes way up. Awareness. Bang. Pop it over him. Knock it down. Game 87. We're all, again off to a lead. Playing off the backboard. Speed. Once again. Another win. Game 88. Dribbling on an angle. Wait till he challenges. Cut back. Off to a lead. Dribbling on an angle. Wait, wait, wait. Flick behind him. Can't save that. Now we're in the middle. He's flat-footed. That's kind of an exception case. Once again, dribble on an angle. He's flat-footed. Low 50 straight through him. So you'll see I have like three different ways I score. That one I was just shooting. My goal was to just shoot off uh, on a weird part of the bounce that he wouldn't expect it. We're off to it. Game 89. We're winning 9-4. Now we're game 90. Bang. Kickoff win. We're off to another lead. And I'm starting to figure out how to score in certain situations. Playing risk minimizing. I don't have enough boost, but I'm just going to stay behind it and get a good 50. Leads to a goal. Patient on the goal line. Looking at him, not at the ball. Looking at him, not at the ball. Once again, patience. Just stay behind. Save boost. Good things happen. We win game 90. Game 91. Patience on the goal line. Save out, follow it up, and getting soft saves on the goal line that you can follow up. Oh, so good. Once again, dribble on an angle. Wait till he challenges. Goal. Game 91. Shadowing until he shows weakness. I win that game. Game 92. Once again, following the ball, not really focused on forcing a goal, just waiting for him to challenge. They squeeze that one in. Dribble on an angle. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Another one. Unfortunately, we're we're losing a bit here. Game 92, we're down three goals. Chip up. Score that one. I don't know if we're going to come back here. Thank you for cutting that one out. We're going to say I won that one. <laughs> Game 93, low 50. Playing off the backboard, using an empty jump to get down to the ground quicker. And confidence. Bang. Game 94. Early challenge. Me a freebie. Wave dash down. Look at the speed. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Score it. See him challenge early. Flick. That's why dribbling sideways is so good. Never dribble in a straight line. Win another one. Game 95 against Comet. We're going to flash forward all the way to when it's 6 6. Look at the patience here. He's flat footed. Let me just low fit you. Let me just low 50 you. Last time I low 50 you. This time I'm going to pop it high. And we win in OT. Game 96. Rematch against Comet. I was playing in Demon Hour. So we're going to play the same people a lot. And look. The mechanics. Finally starting to learn how to use my mechanics. Another close game. Get a low 50. When people get sweaty. Low 50. Unfortunately he gets a, he gets a win there play him a third time. Now I'm going for resets. What do you think I'm going to go do here? Oh, 50. Boom. Game 97. 
Another one. Save that. Ready? Oh. <gasps> I remember that. <laughs> and we beat him 9-10-4. It's called adapting. Adapting. Game 98. This guy was absolutely cracked. And he just starts flaming me in chat, but he's so good that, uh... You know what, we're just gonna flash forward. Now he's winning 7-6. They flip resetting in my goal. Game 99! The kickoff! We're gonna get a goal there. Speed. Kind of. Simple soft touch. Follow it up. It's 5-1. And nail in the coffin. Game 99, another win. Game 100. The poetic fi finish. Check this out. Very simple kickoff goal, right? He played it pretty poorly. I just get an easy 50 and win it. He's saying okay. He's saying nice one in the chat. I go for a quick flick. Now it's 3 0. Getting some nice ones in the chat. I get a 50 50. He's, 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 not, he's not happy after that. Then I demo him. Ooh. Not feeling good. All of a sudden, game's over. It's 8-3. He said, lucky. I said, 8-3, lucky, dude. It wasn't even close. He said, yeah, all, all kickoffs. Like, what? You think you got skill? I said, you got two kickoff goals as well. That bring him down to one goal. He says, you're not good. You have no luck. Garbage can. Does that wrap a bow on it? Does that wrap a bow on it? It's about what you'd expect, right? 100 games, game 1 starts with lag, game 100 ends with toxicity, but through and through, we finish Grand Champ 2, Div 2, on 100 games of 1v1. I played 100 games of 1v1, also that you don't have to. Wow, that sucked. I really hope somebody is watching this video at this point. If you are, I got a new microphone for this video. If you want my old microphone, comment. Luke, it's currently 40 x minutes into your video i just watched you play 100 games of 1v1 so that i don't have to uh thank you for sacrificing yourself for me top three takeaways have patience low 50 don't lose kickoffs have patience low 50 if you're hoping for a happy ending well this is rocket league 1v1 you should have known better and i'll catch you all in part 2v2 thanks for watching <laughs>